There are 26 letters in the alphabet, each one with a different name. And all 26 letters of the alphabet come in different sizes and shapes. And when the letters come together, it makes it even better, cause one thing is for sure. All the letters come together to make something better, like words and so much more. Sing it with me now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs, that's the alphabet symphony. Hi guys, Mrs. Wathen. This is Mrs. Carpenter. And today the letter is G. G. All right, so let's see how to make the uppercase and lowercase G. Mrs. Carpenter, would you hold that up one more time? I want you to look at this lowercase G. This is not how I'm going to write it. That's how you see it in books. But I'm going to show you how we write it so that it looks two different ways. All right, so this is the uppercase G. It goes around down, up, and across, right in the middle. And this lowercase g is going to go around, up, down, curve. So you can tell it looks a little different when you write it than when you read it in a book. Later today, you'll get a chance to practice after watching some more videos about how to make them. Now let's see how our mouth makes the letter G. Everybody put your hand on your neck. And you're going to feel the motor in your neck turn on. G. G. I felt my neck vibrate. Do it again. You can really feel it. G. G. Good job. Now we're going to make two fingers. Like you're going to pinch something. We're going to put it right here. G. G. That's how we're going to make our G. 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 Very good. Let's try some words with G. Good. Good. Game. Game. Garden. Garden. Gorilla. Gorilla. Very good. Now I have Gary, the goat here, to help us with our G's. All right. Now it's going to be at the very end of the letter. So listen carefully. Hug. Hug. Bug. Bug. Big. Big. Tag. Tag. Jog. Jog. Very good, guys. Okay, so once again, you've seen what it looks like and you've heard what it sounds like. So all day today, you're going to be looking and listening for the letter G. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Let's learn how to make the uppercase G. The uppercase G starts like two other letters that we've already talked about. One is the O and the other one is the C. Once again, it starts in that spot that on a clock that would be the number one and number two. Okay, not up here by the 12. So it's going to go just like the C and the O, it's going to go backwards, it's going to go over, around, and across at the middle line. Okay? So over, around, when you get to the middle line, you go across. Over, around, and across. Does anybody know what direction I'm going when I go across? I'm going toward my helper hand my left hand. I'm going up pushing it across toward my helper hand. One more time. Around, over, and across. Alright, let's try the smaller ones. Over, around, across. Over, around, push across. Over, around, push, across. If you're left-handed, you're going to have to do it a little bit different and someone can show you, but same direction as far as you go backwards and everything. So 
around and across. All right, they give you starting points, and again, you see the starting points are not up here where there would be a number 12. They're off to the side a little bit, okay? So we need to make sure that we're not starting right at the top. So we're going to go over, around, come to the middle line, and push across. Over, around, come to the middle line, push across. Over, around, across. Over, around, across. All right, this one is a little tricky. It's similar to the O and the C. It's going to take a little more practice. Some things that people do that are not right, they get going, and then they end up making it look like a six because they have gone too far. They didn't really push it across with a straight line. They kind of hooked it, and that's not going to work. That would look like a number six. We're not trying to make sixes. We're trying to make Gs, okay? Um, trying to think of other things that people do, but most of the time that's what it is. So when you get to this middle line, you push it across. So over, around, across. Over, around, across. Okay? And again, this one takes a little extra practice, so don't get upset if we try to make you do it a little bit more. It just takes practice, and you will get it. You just have to think, work hard, go slow, and try to listen to what we're telling you, and you'll get it, and you'll have beautiful handwriting. This is how we make the uppercase G. Let's learn how to make the lowercase G. Let's look at the uppercase G so you can see them together. They look very different from each other. Okay, They both have curves. This one has a straight line going across. It touches the top line and the bottom line. The lowercase G starts at the midline, so it doesn't go all the way to the top. It starts at the midline, goes around, and then it falls beneath. It's one of those... Uh, hanging or falling letters. Okay, I'm not sure which word your teacher uses, but it's one of those that goes under the line. All right, so let's talk about how to make it. This is another one that's going to start at that two o'clock time on the clock, and you're going to go backwards. Backwards around, up, down, way down, and curve. Okay, you're going to go over, around, up, way down, curve. Now the important thing about the lowercase g is you have to pay attention to which direction do you curve. The lowercase g curves away from your writing hand if you're right-handed. It point, it's going, you're curving to the left. This is your left hand over here. This is your right hand it's going to curve towards your left hand. Okay, You have to just memorize that because there's another letter that curves the other way. The G curves to the left. Okay, So over, around, up, way down, curve to the left. Over, around, up, curve, way down. Okay, let's do the smaller ones. Over, around, up, down, curve. 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 Okay, let's try some on our own. They've shown you where to start under the midline, this dotted line. There's your dot at the 2 o'clock spot. So we go over, around, oh, there's that C again, up, way down, and curve. Over, around, up, down, and curve. Over, around, up, 
down and curve. Over, around, up, down and curve. Okay, the main things that can go wrong is if you curve the wrong direction. That's a different letter. Okay? Another thing is if you start above the midline like that. That's not properly placed. It needs to be under the midline to start with and your tail or your curve needs to be hanging below that bottom line. Okay? So it's over, around, up, down, curve. Over, around, up, down, curve to the left. One more time. Over, around, up, down, curve to the left. This might take a little practice, but you'll get it. It's the lowercase g.